Good morning, it's me, Mikey Pipes. And today, well, I should, I should say this morning, we're gonna take out an old POS, American Standard 410A system that just wasn't cutting it anymore. And we're gonna put in this Bosch IDS 2.0 system. Stay tuned and not gonna wanna miss it. Make sure you thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. Time, timer flash seven times. system. You ain't testing, you're guessing. All right, a little before 9 a.m. Here's my old air handler case. There's the blower. There's the evaporator coil. And let me show you the condensers over here. There are multiple systems at this location. You know, it's kind of like a Taj Mahal. Taj Mahals have multiple systems. Anyway, this is four ton American standard. It's the first floor. This is the second floor. This is the master suite. And this quad, I believe it's a quad. No, it's three. See? One, two, three. Circuit A, B, C. This is for the basement. And they had enough of just constant repairs on this thing. Um, compressor cut out. We changed that out. And the condenser fan motor went out. And he was like, forget it. <laughs> Let's change this thing out. And I'm like, okay, no problem. I wish I had a little more clearance here. It sucks, but uh, I got the high rise pad for the new uh, heat pump condenser. So it should be a little bit higher. So I'll have some more breathing room. Again, I don't like this. You know, it's a little too close to there. And it is what it is. You know, I, I, what are you guys going to do? What can I do? You know? Look at next door. Same shit. See? Everyone does the same thing. Just because people do it doesn't mean it's right. Alright, 9.05 in the morning. Here's Mike applying bastic tape to our supply plenum where it meets the air handler. She is powered up. I have a new Goliath drain pan. I have those rubber plastic insulators between the drain pan and the air handler and right now I'm going to start figuring out the wiring and we'll work on this all right love this machine by the way such a beautiful machine sexy and beautiful if you're going to do the job do it the right way don't cut corners this is like stupidity like they could have easily spaced that out more but they didn't I don't know I'm just venting all right let me uh, get working on the air handle. One of the nicest things I love about the Bosch IDS 2.0 system is the fact that if I'm doing cooling only, I only need two wires going to the outdoor condenser, which is great in retrofit applications because a lot of times you only have C and Y going to that condenser. And what puts Bosch apart from the rest is that all the communicating is done on the outdoor unit. It knows everything. It knows pressures. It knows temperatures. It knows your subcooling. It knows everything. It's amazing. So if you see here, here's my low voltage control wiring coming from my uh, indoor air handler. And I just have a red and a white wire, which is going to represent C and Y. And by the way, these are fake Wagos. Someone sent it to me and I use them strictly for low voltage applications. I would not use fake Wagos on line voltage. I love the levers. Awesome. Awesome product. But this is a knockoff Wago. Don't be intimidated. All right. I got everything wired up. I'll give you this cool color diagram. I love it. Makes things easy and simple. I'm using the AquaGuard, the uh, emergency switch that sits in the emergency drain pan. <clears throat> so as you see, I got my red connected to red on the aqua guard and gray i got black going to common and i have white would go to a communicating like alarm system or what have you purple is i have it set to break thermostat power so purple is going to my red thermostat or r to thermostat so one side is red which is 24 volts you know to the equipment and purple is going to thermostat all right 
I got the clear trap set up there. There's the control wire from the AquaGuard. Here's all my thermostat wiring. He had this ultraviolet light system by Green UV, but when we were, um, when I disconnected the duct, I noticed that the bulb itself was like melted and stuff. So I just, we're not gonna reconnect that. If he wants an ultraviolet light, we'll get him like one by field controls. All right, now I gotta connect my line set there to there. This is gonna be fun. I love ZoomLock and ZoomLock loves me. You love me, I love you. You should also love him too. I'm effing nuts. All right, this is a ZoomLock 7 8 coupling. You need to prepare the pipe. So this is the pipe I'm connecting. This is going to my condenser. This is going to my air handler. As you can see, I just soldered that with Silver Bright. No, sorry, Stay Bright, which stay clean. Where's the solder? Here's the solder. This is by Harris Technologies. It's great stuff, Stay Bright 8. This is endorsed and recommended by them. It's good to go. Don't shit on it if you haven't tried it before. I already prepped both sides. I'm gonna take my coupling and I'm gonna stick it on there and use the zoom lock machine, press machine to make it happen. And prep it. Easy peasy. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. It's gotta go over both rings. There you go. Yep. Look at that. One more. Piece of cake. Guaranteed never to leak. All right. Oh, it's a little torn here. Oh. We'll get some black line set tape and cover this up. All right. Now I got to do my three eighths. Put the filter dryer in here. Let me clean up this three eighths line. Make the purpose of the high-rise pad, Mike, is if you use it for a heat pump in the winter, all the condensation is outside. So if it's freezing conditions, you know, you're going to have an iceberg, at least not covering the unit. You're going to have it on that. I have, to, I have to like it because, A, it gives us a little more clearance from the steps here and from the other units, but they are still way too close, though. But... We are gonna slowly replace the other systems here. And hopefully, the next ones we do, we'll try to shift everything over. This is gonna be a pain, right? But if we can shift everything over, better. You know, if I can utilize this whole strip here on this Taj Mahal, look at this, it's Taj Mahal. <laughs> if I utilize all this space here, yes, I don't have enough clearance from the house. I have a walkway here, but Listen, it is what it is. And this was approved by local code, you know? So, all right, the unit's in place. I have to make some connections there. Probably 90, damn, this sucks. This goes in a little bit. Ooh, look at that, that goes in a little bit. Maybe I could do a long turn 90 right here. Uh, it's still not a perfect situation here. Let's see, I'd like to extend this. I don't know, we'll figure it out. By osmosis. Saint Mike commands thee to connect thyself now. All right, it's a little after 11 a.m. And let's pump down this system. My field piece vacuum pump. I got the Aco Tools True Blue Professional Vacuum Hose. I'm just running one hose right now. Over here, I got a little creative. As you can see, I didn't really have much room to work with, but put a nice little offset 45 right there, a 90 bend on the 3 8 on my 7 8 I got to get creative, gentlemen, I'm sorry. I got a 90, street 45, and a street 90, and there really wasn't any room there. So, and I got my BlueVac Plus Pro, Micron gauge, and we're pumping down. Pump it down quick. While this is pumping down, I'm gonna take off the access panel and wire in my low voltage. All right, let's take off the electrical panel access cover off this BOVA 60HD and one M20G. If you notice, she's a 60, she's a five ton unit. 
with a five ton unit with a four ton air handler. Put that off to the side. Let's show you what's going on in here. A lot of you people say, kiss, keep it simple, stupid. Well, this looks very complex, but what's very simple here is the amount of money this client's gonna be saving on their electric consumption, all right? Let's keep that simple. On the bottom, I have terminal block, L1, L2, and ground. Took that from my whip. And if they didn't do this, I would have replaced the electric, uh, but I can't even get the, the nut out of there without chopping up the guy's stone. So the whip's in good condition. And it is what it is. And I got my low voltage wiring there. That's gonna go right over here. Right there. See that? And if I was gonna use a heat pump, I'm mean, gonna use more of the wires. But we don't use heat pumps here. Pretty fascinating. And it is pricey, but this unit comes with a 10 year warranty, whether or not they register or not. But of course I register it because helps improve my ranking with the Bosch ABC contractor program. You know, pipe, pipe doctor's an ABC Bosch contractor. Love it. All right, let's get this thing rock wide and rock and rolling. Where we at? All right, maybe I'll change the oil. It's me, laying down on the job. How else might else get in here? All right, L1, L2, ground. Since this is cooling only, I'm using the brown, which is common, and yellow, which is yellow. Why? Going to my two wires from the indoor unit. I just changed the oil on the fly. We're at 977 microns and dropping. Do a quick little test and close this. So far, so good. I open that back up. Contemplating whether or not hooking up the other side as well, but. Uh, I don't know. What do you say, Mike? Good. Should I hook up the other hose too, or let it be? Let it be. Let it be. Well, let it be. Let it be. Let it be. This will let it be. No? Is there a song? Let it be. Yeah. I know. Let it be. I just let it be. It's about the Beatles. Is it? No, we like the Beatles. John oh. Lennon. Oh, Paul McCartney. Was it? Is it the Paul McCartney or the Beatles? I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Give me an answer in the feedback section, comment section. Oh, what time? A little after 11, right? Like 1120? 1125. Shit. Maybe be able to get into the pool this afternoon. <laughs> I do. But we also, we, so, we also should probably replace the compressor that we have to change today. Let's probably do it. Because we'll be done within, I don't know, an hour. Might as well. Make that paper. All right. Stay tuned. Uh, the yellow ones, the yellow charges. Yeah. Let's go entertain the people. The people need to be fed. You guys are going to love this. You're really going to love this. Hold on. Wait for it. Let me find the light switch. There's a light switch. Bow. Bow. Two Lock Navarre Knights. All right. Check out that crazy hydraulic separator. All right. Bell and Gossett. Oh, Mike at Lock Navarre. He loves B and G's, by the way. He really is trying to get me to go away from Taco. No. 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 Look at that. Bad boy, look at that. Sick. Sick, sick mixing valve right there. Look at that beast right there. Oh my god. Is it a lock of our indirect? It's a squire. Oh yeah it is! Lock and bar. Made in the USA. So he's got a pretty impressive system here. Diamond plate on the wall. Central therm for both. I bet you these heat exchangers aren't leaking. <laughs> sick, sick, sick install. And guess what? Now we're gonna be servicing him. He gave up on his installing contractor. 
That's what we're putting in the Bosch. And we're gonna be servicing this. Sick. Is that it? What the f this is an air sep this is an air eliminator. Yeah. Wow. It but it's missing the thing on top. No? No, but I've never seen something like that before. I've never seen that before. Wow. It's a giant thing. Look at this. Two inch. It's Bell and Gossett. PSH2. Sick. So apparently he's got radiant and snow melt and fan coils. See, there's his, some of his radiant stuff right here. No, maybe it's behind the wall there. He also has this crazy water filter system. Oh, I'm, I'm not a fan of the Aquasana Rhino, but he's also got the UV system attached to it. So he cares about water quality. Beautiful. Ah, looky, looky. Very nice. So he has zone actuators for these five areas. Pretty. The wiring's a little messy, but it is what it is. All right, let's go play with our Bosch. All right, it's like 11.30. Let's go uh, start up and commission our Bosch IDS 2.0, five ton heat pump condenser. She's whisper quiet. I'm gonna show you guys the amperage. And uh, we're gonna do the startup sequencing on this bad boy right here. All right, after you let it uh, start up and ramp up with a call for uh, cooling, give it a few minutes. You wanna press this force button right there. Press and hold that down for about five seconds. And 31 is gonna change to that. See that thing right there? It looks like a upside down T or sideways T. So now we're in force mode. And we want this to ramp up to its frequency. This is a five ton system. We look in the manual, we'll see what the frequency is. Page 22 shows frequency. All right, five ton, 62. So this has got to say 62. Right now it says 31. Once that says 62, we want to dial in at exactly 10 degrees of subcooling. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that says 61. Sorry for the flash, that is what it is. All right, let's take a look at our current readings. We're at 105 and 248 with 3.7 degrees. Sorry with the screen flickering like that, my apologies. Oh, forgot to close that one. Let's put some refrigerant in here. We do half a pound at a time. And while she's at this frequency, let's take a look at how much amps this thing is drawing. What do you guys think? All right. What do you think she's at, guys? Now, keep in mind, she's at 100% right now. 14.2. A little higher than I expected. But she's at 100% right now. Sick, sick, sick machine. We're almost at 7 degrees of subcooling. Three more degrees to go. All right. 10.1 degrees, subcooling, perfect. Uh, there's one thing to keep in mind, guys. Uh, the access panel, there are six screws, sorry, seven screws, three on this side, three on that side, and one right there. It is absolutely imperative that you put all the screws back in. Absolutely imperative. You saw that control board inside there. That ain't, that ain't, that ain't cheap. That ain't a contactor and a capacitor. That's probably a couple grand right there. So you want to make sure it's protected from the weather. You make sure all those screws are back in. All right. I'm going to uh, take off my Testos, put my Schrader cores back in, clean up, and then get paid. Thank you so much for watching. I would appreciate a thumbs up. Thumbs up if you love Bosch. Thumbs up if you love Mikey Pipes. Mikey Pipes loves you. You love Mikey Pipes. It's a win-win situation. St. Mike commands thee to thumbs me up. Do it now. If you haven't done so already, subscribe. Come on. 50,000 subscribers are right around the corner. We're going to have a sick pool party. Sponsored by one and only Mikey Pipes. Thanks so much for watching. Love all of you. Be well. Stay safe. God bless.